Hello, welcome back to the Spider's Web. Uh, why have we got a lone die sat on the um, dice rolling tray? Well, the last video I did, I asked what would you'd like to see painted next. The options were one of the small miniatures, the final small mini miniature, which is the Manitou, which is this beastie, or would you like to see one of the heroes? The heroes we had were Achilles, Atalanta, Heracles, and Achilles, Atalanta, Heracles, I think that was it, wasn't it? Oh, and Odysseus. Yep, uh, somebody suggested Achilles. Now, I've not had any more um, suggestions. This is Achilles. So, the choice is between Achilles and the Minotaur. Now, the thing is, uh, what I'm going to be doing from now on is just putting up a message saying, what would you like to see? If the Minotaur wins today, fine, and Andy will paint the Minotaur, and the choices you will get will just be uh, which miniature would you like to see painted. I'm not going to put on um, or name any of them, because I'm going to paint them as and when I can, and then whatever you'd like to see, I'll just post up the video as and when. Um, so, because we'd not, we'd only... Uh, the two, the, the two suggestions and we've had nothing since what I'm going to do is we're on the die odd number we're going to be painting the Minotaur even number we're going to be painting Achilles okay it's an even number we're painting Achilles so the Minotaur can go away yeah, yeah. <coughs> so <coughs> I'll get rid of my dice bag, pop that up there, I'll get rid of my rolling tray, tuck that under there, and let's concentrate now on Achilles. Right, so let's have a look at what we have. A uh, very dynamic pose, um, hopefully this camera angle will suit. Let me just raise it a little bit. Um, very dynamic pose, long hair. Um, tell you what, let's get on with it. <laughs> right, flesh time. I'm going to use a slightly paler flesh for him than I usually have, even though I know his Mediterranean descent would have darker skin, but I'm going to go with Kisner flesh. Um, just because I feel like a change because I keep doing dark skin tones and I'm getting a little bit bored with it now on something a little different so that's what I'm going to do uh, I'll just keep those out of the way I really needed to uh, change my water in my pots but never mind It'll do the job. I just have to remember. Try not to lick me brush. <laughs> so let's get into the skin tone. And we have legs here. We have a lot of even though he's wearing armor, he is quite um, uncovered, shall we say. But then again, this is Achilles. His skin is, a, is his armor, except for his heel, of course.
Looks as though I've got everything, it's all a nice even coating. There's none of the grey showing through, that's what I'm looking for at the moment. And there we go, that will do fine. Next, what we have is the armour. Um, we don't have a long flung cape with this fella, but we do have. Oh, I've missed a bit of skin. In my eagerness to make sure I've not uh, got any, I've got an even coverage, I've missed one area of skin. So I'd better get that done first off. I can come back to this. Uh, when it's dry properly. Mm. Uh, still. So yes, <laughs> back to armour. We're going to do what we usually do with armour. Um, War block bronze first off, and then a brighter armor color afterwards. I'm not going to go mad with going for the armor for this guy. Um, so what we have is the breastplate. I've just realised there's a little more metal on this than I thought there was, so I may actually um, put some paint on the palette and use a slightly bigger brush. In fact, I'm going to. So bear with me a second while I just get the brush out. And put that, what there is there, on the palette, and then I can I'll go over some of the larger areas of metal with this brush while I have some of the paint on it. All the metal done, I think. Put a few touches here and there. I don't think there's any more to do. Um, I 
And I'm just going to plow in there. You can't see it, but I just want to make sure that it's covered just in case. The next step actually reflects onto it. I don't want any grey showing. I know it's there, whether you can see it or not. I'm going back into the skin tone now. Abdominal area once more. Make sure I've got a nice even coverage. But anywhere that I've caught with the metallic colour, I'll just touch up now. And I think that's almost it. There's not much the touching up that I need to do. There's a little bit but oh, yeah. if you can hear the music it's one of the neighbours. He uh, hasn't got the um, hasn't got the willpower or whatever to avoid playing music as loud as he can but all I do is turn my hearing aid off oh, in this, oh, in the case today not worried at all and it doesn't bother me as much but I can still hear a little bit so if it does come over on the video I apologize but Nothing I can do about it, and nothing the council or anyone else is going to do about it. So, there we are. Right, metallic stone, skin tone done. What we have next is the sandals, the little skirty thingies we're in, the leather straps, the feathers in his thing, uh, uh, on his crest, and the hair. But I think we will start off with the little skirty thing he's wearing. All the other little skirty things that we've done have been pale colours, uh, greys and creams. I think we're going to stick with the same thing again. Um, and when I see the colour I'm looking for, I'll pick it up and put it on. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? In fact, I don't think I will use the normal colour that we do. I think I will use a slightly different colour. Um, and when I can find it, there we are. I thought I had it then, but I haven't. Steel Legion Drab. Let's get that on. Ooh. Okay, so making sure the brush is damp, we'll go into this and we normally we'll do something a little paler but because this is on show um, we are going to have to do the highlighty stuff on it so I might as well Paint it a bit darker and then we can work from there. Um, now obviously we're going to be doing the old washy bit when I've done it, gone as far as I can with it. Um, I think I really should have put some of this on the palette because it's a little more needed than I thought, but never mind. Um, brush is damp so it's it's not as if I'm putting it applying it thickly it's still watered down it's just not as dilute 
as it would be if it was on the pallet. And this is one reason why I decided to use a pale skin tone because I didn't want all the colours merging into one. Um, to a little bit of a difference between the skin tone and the clothing. I'll do that. Um, So I'm just concentrating on where I'm applying this because I don't really I don't want it everywhere. Uh, I've seen another little bit where I can put it, which is just here under his arm. And there we are. that bit done. Next <clears throat> what we're going to do is add a little bit of a leather colour and I'm going to pick corn red as the basis for this. So we're going to add some of that to the palette. I've used the wrong brush again Oh dear. Never mind. There we go. So, corn red is the colour we're using for the other straps, especially here. Um, we just try and make sure we don't get it everywhere. We want it just where just on the parts that are moulded. This way. do that and also do the belt as well in this colour Now what I want to do is add a little bit of brown into that colour, just to darken it quite a bit. And for that we're going to be using, not that one, where are you? Yeah, go on, we'll use that. Bit of doom ball. Add some of that to the palette, using the proper brush that I usually use for this. Um, just take some of that, pop it there, clean the brush off, and then I'll take some of the red and add it in. And then this colour will be used for the leather straps that's holding the chest plate on. Mm. 
we'll look at that and okay, it's not just going to it's actually going on you can see where the molding is so watch exactly the areas that you're painting it and then we will do the strap that's around the arm here and the one that's around the arm here So we can always come back and touch up later where we need to. So don't worry. Um, but I'm also going to be highlighting these slightly different colours so they will look slightly different. So they aren't all going to look the same. That one and this little bit at the bottom here as well. And I think that is it for the leather areas. Yep. Um, I want to go back into the skin tone again. Um, there's a couple of areas that I need to just slightly touch up on. Notice there's some quite watery looking areas that were still showing some of the grey undercoat. I've done that now, and what I thought was skin originally is actually the strap, so I'm going to have to go back into that colour to do that strap. Okay, that's not a problem at all. We can do that. Just wash the brush out. Get back into the colour. And where is it? There. And underneath, which is... There. Anywhere else, yes, this um, strapping here and here. There we are, I think. Oops, wrong one. I need a car red for that. So I will do that in calm red. And I also need to just touch up some of the areas on the metallics. Which I'll do now. Uh, the wrist guard here. Um, and here. And 
I need, to, I need to touch up on the skin. Oh, I definitely need to touch up on the skin there now. Um, is that it? I wonder. I think it is. Yep. So I can't see anymore. So I'll do that. Now, as I said, just a bit of a touch up on the skin. Just on the hand holding the sword. Um, I think I've missed a few bits out there that need doing, and I've also just gone over this part of the hand with the metal are touching up. It happens. Don't lose sleep over it. Just make the correction. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, as they say. There we are. So there's the majority of the base coat done. Some things I'm not going to paint as yet. Uh, but I think before we do anything else, I'm going to take a little bit of this Doomble Brown. Mix in some, not a lot, but just some of the flesh colour and a spot and I mean a spot of Warboss Green uh, I don't want it to be oh, I'll just put it in the wrong blooming colour oh dear god this colour I'm going to be going over the sandals but first a little bit of water on the ferrule of the brush be careful about that if you're painting and you see water on the ferrule try and get it off as quick as you can because if that suddenly decides it's going to um, move it's going to go straight down onto your mini through the bristles and make a bit of a mess so i said just be mindful of that um this happened to me a few times thankfully i manage quite most of the time i can manage to avoid it happening but there's always that chance it will happen and if it does you've got a lot of correcting to do because it doesn't um, improve the quality of your painting <laughs> but uh, just a quick quick little tip there for you you have any paint or if you have any water on your ferrule which is the metal bit here get it off you know the last thing I want to do is ignore things like that um, I'd sooner share tips and things like that with you if I can Sometimes they come to mind and sometimes they don't. So, yeah, it might be a common sense thing, I don't know, but just in case you're thinking, oh, it's only a drop, it won't spill. Yeah, drops have a tendency of moving. And if they even touch, the bristle 
and it's going to be moving a hell of a lot quicker than you thought it was going to do. There we go. I just need you see what I mean by drop. If I hold that vertically and not directly over the picture, that's fine at the moment. It's not doing anything, but as you're moving, there's a chance it goes and then it goes straight to the end of the thing. It's straight to the end of the bristles and straight onto your miniature. And you can imagine what would happen then. Missed a bit with the long way. Too busy trying to correct, thinking of the bits that I've missed to actually watch where I'm putting the paint that I'm using. So, okay, I just need to. So I've done that bit now. I'll go back into the colour that we're using for the sandals. And we'll just touch up where we need to and there we have it that's the base coating done what I want to do now is just give the sandals a couple of seconds to dry. It doesn't take long because it's as I say, acrylic and acrylics dry incredibly fast. Um, but if we've not got the right if we've not got the paint in the right place now we can always go over it again when it comes down to highlighting, that's not an issue. Um, just try and get the paint Oops, it's more or less where we want it I'm just nipping into the Steel Legion drab once more because I've missed this area and I don't think that area should be red. I think it should be the Steel Legion drop. So I'm going over that bit again. Over that of water, be Sometimes you sneak up on you. There we are. There we are. And just go under here as well, just to make sure it's everywhere I want in that colour is that colour. that done. <coughs> I can start thinking about washes. I'm just going to do a very basic wash all over this mini with the same colour. Um, nothing fancy. You know, the techniques we use aren't anything fancy, but what they are are effective. Think of it that way. Um, I'm just going to do a very straight dry brush to pick up the detail and thing in the silver. That's all I'm going to be doing with the uh, shield. I'll probably do the same thing with the. In fact, 
I'm going to go back into the metal colour, the Warplot Bronze. And I'm going to increase the area of the metal to capture or to take in the flat piece here that the crest is emerging from. Because it's flat and there's absolutely no detail in it, it's better painting it with the metal and that way you can Um, that's what I'm looking for. That way it'll not detract away from the feathers. If you try to do it the same colour as the feathers it looks wrong. It may actually be that it's metal anyway so I don't know. But uh, that's the way I see it. If you've got that flat area paint it metallic and that way it won't look out of place. And I think that is it. So, let's now have a look at the wash. It's not going to be a weird wash. It's one that we've used before. Um, we're not going to be using the Agrax Earth Shade because I don't want it that, that darker brown. We're using Reichland Flesh Shade. Hmm. So, it's an all over wash with Reichland Flesh Shade. Simple and effective. Um, so, I'll start off here. It's a nice, rich, ready colour brown rather than the Agrax Earthshade, which is more of a grey brown. This one has a touch of warmth to it. Um, So that's why I'm using this for this guy. I've used pale skin. So I need something to deepen it slightly. Um, I may yet come back and give the bit of material around that's flapping about around his waist um, a wash with Agrax Earthshade when this dries. I'll do that off camera because I don't want to be wasting time um, showing showing that when it's just going to be the same process as this only with a different colour um, and it's only a small piece as well so if I start another video I'll start the video again to show it um, it's just going to be a very small piece and then, I'll be wait then it's just going to hold me back for painting so I might as well just do it off camera and then when I come back we can just get on with highlighting rather than doing that little bit and then waiting again for it to dry because it takes a lot longer for the washes to dry than the the actual um, the paints so that's why I'm saying this if it took the same length of time for the paint for the washes to dry it wouldn't matter I could just it would be dry in a few seconds but as I say, it just takes that bit quite a bit longer for the washes to dry uh, so usually I give it about an hour to fully dry and then I can continue painting then um, so I'm always off with the music again. It's always the same picking song. I wish you'd learned another. But between that and his uh, exotic tobacco, stinking the place out. I'm a little fed up with living here, to be honest. I 
a nice lottery win would be appreciated and then I can get my own place in the country with Ali. It would be nice. <laughs> ah well. Never mind. There we go. That's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, when we come back, we'll get on with highlighting. But for now, um, I'll just rinse my brush out, give it a bit of a dry, and then we can have an, a look at Achilles as he is now. So, uh, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, until next time, take care, God bless, and bye for now. <laughs>